guys. I was there for eight hours straight. Yeah. It was exhausting, but I, it was an amazing Worth day. It, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I have I slept in, but it was so fun. Such a fun event. She's so pretty. Oh my god. Yeah, I know, right? Trinity's so pretty. It's like insane. It's not even fair. Worries, you're way prettier than me. I mean, come on, you're gorgeous. Live, but thank you. Oh, I love this song, by the way. Oh, thank I you so much. It is brilliantly like written. When it was sent in the email, uh, like the other day, my mom and I was like, "These lyrics are beautiful." I love thank them. You so much. Much. I'm so glad you I like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> um, but what's up, guys? Okay, so Trinity Rose is an actress, singer, and composer known for Psychosis, Opera Duet, and Fangirls. In 2015, Trinity released her EP, Sign in the Sky. She also released her songs, Another Perfect Day, and a duet single called Miss You with Nickelodeon and Netflix star Aiden Gallagher. She became widely known as the youngest female competitor on, to appear on the 12th season of NBC's The Voice. In 2018, Trinity starred in WNBA's Magic Moment at the Staples Center. And she is also associated with Team One RHR and wrote a song that we're listening to right now called Love is the Only River, um, featuring 45 other amazing singers for the cause. And it was actually released yesterday at the Team One RHR's event. But we'll talk about that a little later in the yep. interview. But I want to get to know you and how this all started. You're, you've done so much in the industry, obviously, with this song and everything. How did you get started? What was your first love? Well, I mean, I started at a very young age. Mm -hmm. I, when I was like five or six, I would just turn up at my parents' <laughs> house parties and I would bring out this song I wrote. I'm like, you guys want to hear this? And of course, I was, I was five. They couldn't say no. And uh, I just kept on singing and writing and this is where I am now. I love it. Okay, so how did you get started in the industry specifically? Well, I've been doing gigs for a long time, but like uh, two, three years ago, I was performing a 4th of July concert okay. and like near a town, like a town near me. And um, a scout for The Voice w ended up watching my set yes. and I got called in and I, I ended up going through that whole process and it made me take everything around me so much more seriously and I learned so much about the industry mm -hmm. and... I knew this is what I wanted to do. For sure. What was it like being on The Voice? Because you were obviously young, right? How old were you? I was 13. Yeah. So how, what was that experience like? Well, it was the first year they were letting 13-year-olds audition. And it was between me and one of my amazing friends now, uh, Quiz. Okay. He did the song with me, Love is the Only River. So we've stayed in touch. Oh. And um, I did a few auditions and I did the blind auditions, which were insane. I met all like four judges, um, <laughs> Lake Shelton, Gwen Stefani, yeah. Alicia Keys and Adam Levine. It was insane. I honestly don't know how it happened. But <laughs> I'm so grateful. Yeah. So who would you consider like your biggest musical inspiration? Well, I mean, I'm into a ton of different music, but mm -hmm. one thing I grew up on was the Beatles. Okay. Honestly, some of the best songwriting in the last century and 
I, I've fallen in love with it over and over and over again. And that's where I always go back to. And also I'm heavily inspired by the people around me. I'm surrounded yeah. by so many incredible musicians. Yeah, I mean, everyone that performed yesterday was insanely talented. I oh, know, it was whoa. ridiculous. I was like, where did all these people come from? They're insane. What water are they drinking? I need to be exactly. drinking. Exactly. <laughs> insane. Even you, I actually couldn't stay for your performance. It was so sad. I was like, no. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, tell me about specifically Team 1RHR, just about the cause, everything, let people know. Okay, so Team 1RHR is an organization that um, – spreads love, peace, and unity and positive, through positivity. Yes. And um, they work with multiple youth charities and they get together tons of their friends and family. And they throw these huge events like the one we just went to mm -hmm. just to raise awareness and do things like I did and <laughs> music. Yes. And How did you specifically get involved with Team One Art? Well, uh, last year I was invited to sing for the first um, annual performance. Okay. And then um, Michael and Sean Liu uh, went up to me and asked if I could write a song for them. And, of course, I ended up writing it with uh, <laughs> one of my m mentors, like one of this, this amazing guy, Ian Sloan. I don't know mm -hmm. if you met him. He's amazing. I think I did. I think I met him on the carpet. Yeah, I'm... I knew I wanted to write it with him, and mm -hmm. it ended up going great. He wrote the yes. music, and I wrote the lyrics, and honestly, it was one of my favorite co-writes. Yes, for sure. So tell me about mainly the songwriting process that went along with Love is the Only River. Yeah, so like I said, uh, he wrote the more of the music, and I mm -hmm. wrote most of the lyrics. We first, first of all, we wrote separately for a little bit. Okay. That music, I'd be like, oh, what am I going to write about? And I took heavily, like... One race, human race, which is their motto. Yes. I wanted to write specifically about that and how everyone should be unified no matter who you are. Yeah. And uh, we came together and we recorded this quick demo and sent it to everyone and asked, yeah. hey, it was do you insane. want to be part of it? Yeah, the, how, like 45 people, right, I believe? Oh, are yeah, all on the song. around 50. Yeah, yeah, everyone came in, yeah. And the music video is awesome. Like the lyric video, I watched it. It is so cool. Because, guys, if you guys haven't, um, it's where, where can you find it? Probably on YouTube. Oh, yeah. I just released it on my YouTube channel. On your YouTube channel. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So go to our YouTube channel after the live and uh, watch the lyric video. They just dropped a lyric video for the song Love is the Only River. And it shows, like, everyone in the recording studio. Hi, puppy! <laughs> This is Ron, and he just walks over sometimes. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> was, he, was he at the event yesterday? He was. With, was it Lulu holding him? Yes. For yes. Izzy B's clothing. Honestly, it was hilarious. She just um, <laughs> all the models were just petting him, and Lulu just went, "Hey, I'm going on last. Can I bring him on?" <laughs> so I mean, cute. he really shined. Oh my god! Do you have any other pets, or just him? Just him. He's my first, like, um, I mean, I've had fish in the past, but he's never <laughs> <a real pet. laughs> You've had fish? I've had fish before. I had, like, two years. <gasps> Hi. He wants to interview, too. Oh, yes. He okay. does. He's... Ask him how his experience was on the stage yesterday. Oh, I'm sure he <laughs> has so much to say. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, do you have any new music coming soon that we could be excited about? And yeah, look forward I to because I know I'm excited for it and I'm ready for it. So, so um, I'm going to be releasing like a ton of new music really soon. Mm -hmm. Like you were saying with Aiden Gallagher, I'm going to be yes. doing a song with him. Like he, uh, we wrote it a little while ago. It's called uh, "Miss You." Okay, and uh, we've been holding on to it for a while, waiting for the perfect time to release it. Yeah, and I can't say too much but it will be coming out pretty soon in a month or two. It's coming out after his premiere um, of his new show, Umbrella Academy. It's on Netflix. So yeah, that's coming out. So also, I've, been, I've been writing a ton of new music and yeah. I'm trying to figure out what's gonna be on my EP, what's not. Like if you've ever released music, you're like, uh, I, if I'm recording something, it has to be perfect. You have to yep. like, pick five songs out of 50. For sure. It's just. I, it's really exciting, though. I'm I just really feel excited. like as, like, a 
singer, you're just constantly writing and constantly creating. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? So I understand, like, the, yes, I have music coming soon and, like, trying to narrow it down and single covers and all of that. Um, so I love that, but also a lot of, like, my process is my mom and also helping me and my family. So tell me about your family and how they support you and everything. Uh, honestly, I have the best support system in my house. My mom is basically my manager. She's <laughs> Through all these years, and my dad is just the sweetest guy, and he always has supported me since the beginning. And of course, I have my brother and sister. Like, me and my sister are best friends, and my brother is always really excited about everything I do. And he <laughs> depends. So, honestly, I couldn't ask for a better family. And obviously, your puppy. Puppy. Oh, yes. Ronan's <laughs> my favorite. He's the biggest form of like, support no I could ask My favorite for. in the family. I was oh, like, I yes. love my parents, but Lala, my dog, has to be my favorite member of the family. Oh. <laughs> Hands down. So. That's so um, true. <laughs> so I moved to L.A. like a year ago, right? Mm -hmm. And so I live downtown, and the traffic is, like, insane. So I always ask people, what do you do when you're stuck in L.A. traffic? Because I need to oh my keep myself gosh. occupied. I listen to <laughs> so much music. I'm always like okay. listening to whatever my sister tells me to listen to because <laughs> she always finds the newest stuff and I'm just like, okay. oh my God, Rex Orange County. And she's like, I figured that out like three years ago. <laughs> I'm just listening to him. And like, honestly, I'm always trying to find new sounds, new music, things to inspire me. And that's what I do in all that traffic. <laughs> yeah, just jam, jam out. So I was like, I have my license, but I want to start driving like by myself soon. Mm. And I'm, like, I'm probably just going to be one of those drivers where you just look over and I'm like <laughs> driving in traffic, like just jamming out to different kinds of music. Um, but yeah, okay. So obviously yesterday was, hi puppy. I love it. Oh my God. I need to incorporate my dog into my lives also. You should. <laughs> just bring her. Also, you have the prettiest setup. I just oh. set up in my living room. <laughs> I have my dog just running in. I love it. It's all homey. I love it so much. I was like, I need to bring my puppy in. People get the oh. homey feel. I love it. Hi, puppy. So cute. Say hi to everyone. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but obviously yesterday was insanely busy. It was oh, yeah. amazing. And oh my gosh. Okay. I needed to take a moment just to discuss this with you. The circus. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I need to talk about them. They are the most <laughs> incredible people I've worked with. They're they're all like kids. They're all kids too. Yeah. And you saw what they did with the arrows. Yeah. With they had an actual like small child wrapped around her body. <laughs> they shot it with her foot upside down. <laughs> I don't do that. I don't know. I like wait. Okay, guys. So just to like catch y'all up on our experience yesterday. So there was a bunch of people that performed at the amazing team on our HRs event, right? And yeah, see, so I said, oh, Tori K is a daily mood. I love that username. He said, what circus? Oh my God. So there was a circus um, act where people were on stilts and there was contortionists. It was like mind blowing, but they're all like kids. So they're like our age or like younger, I swear. Like, I don't think anyone was older than like 17 or 18. Like they were all young and they all got on stage and had like a 15 minute show. And at one point, because obviously they're contortionists, they're like upside down, but at one point they had a like heart, um, what is that, a target? Like yeah, come yeah. out. And they also had arrows, and this other little one decided to wrap her body like around the other person, and then the person bent over and shot the arrow. Honestly, I've never, I've performed with them quite a few times and I've never seen them do that, so I was just See? as shocked as you could. I mean, they, she was they've like, done the okay. shooting the arrow thing upside down with their feet, but they they had a person. Rather, <laughs> I don't even know how they do that. It's yeah. so impressive, like, though. You sang with them, right? Cause you yeah, I did. I sang my original rock. song. Yeah. Yes. I, I just wrote that song, actually, a month or two ago. Um, I wrote uh, Walk the Air with um, this amazing Heather Holly. She did uh, music with uh, Christina... Christina Aguilera, she did her first three albums, and okay. she wrote this with me about kind of the kids' experiences with, like, doing the impossible, even though some people think it's weird, but, like, <laughs> it's basically an up uplifting song for me and them. For sure. I, I was mind-blown. And I went right after them. I was like... <laughs> 
Honestly. Also, I'm going to write their handle in the comments real quick. Because they are honestly incredible. And yeah. you guys need to see them. Look them up. I think this is right. Le Petit Cirque. Hopefully that's right. It's around that. But oh my gosh, it's so amazing. Y'all have to check them out. Because I just, I just had to take a moment to talk to you about them. Because I was like, because we both were on stage with them during that moment. And I was like, I need you to talk about this with somebody that also experienced it. Because it was insane. But They're yeah. Just, oh my God, they're mind blowing. <laughs> But you also do a lot of things. You play guitar, correct? And you play instruments. Mm -hmm. um, and I feel like as a singer, we always have things going on. So what does your like everyday life look like? Well, um, I go to public school. Okay. So for most days, I'm at school for most of the time. And I, when I get home, I always like play my guitar really late at night and then don't go to bed <laughs> in time and then forget to do my homework. But I always try to write as much as possible which is really mm -hmm. important for the songwriters just to kind of get that practice in yeah but sometimes i have a, a show that i have to rehearse for and i rehearse a few songs in my room just singing it or in front of my family <laughs> it really depends on the day yep just go to school and then perform constantly Ooh, someone asked uh trinity what's your best song Ooh, that's one of your songs you've done yeah Ooh, i don't know um there's a song that I really love that I wrote quite a few months ago called Coughing Up Flowers okay. that I love. It's about this um, concept called Hanahaki disease, which um, is when you experience unrequited love, your lungs fill up with flowers and you cough them up. And honestly, I just fell in love with that as soon as I heard it and I had to write about it. I wrote it with this guy, Casey Malinuk, and he's one of the best writers I've ever written with. And... I'm really proud of that song. I'm going to be recording it very soon. <laughs> yeah. So that will be released. I'm so yeah. ready. So I hope I, you guys. Can. I'm so ready for new music <laughs> from you, from everyone. I haven't released music in so long. This <laughs> Love's the Only River is like the first thing I've released in like two, three years. I don't know. Yeah. I've just been awesome. focusing a lot on gigs and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes your focus has to shift. I'm just ready for everyone to put out new music. I'm like everyone's biggest fan, I swear. Like, when I saw you perform, when was the first time I saw you perform? At the, um, Graham March? No. Oh, my God, yeah, yeah. I remember the first time I met you. <laughs> I remember. Um, and you performed, and I was like, I'm obsessed. I was like, I love her so much. I think you're incredible. <laughs> you're incredible, <laughs> obviously. You know that. You know that. That sometimes hides and likes to come out and discover people. Um, but obviously, you're amazing. You have new music coming soon. But where do you see yourself in, like, three years? Three years from now? Three years, honestly, yeah, you time. never know. I'm honestly, I'm trying to figure out if I want to be more of a singer or a songwriter. Okay. Because I know I want to do music. And yes. I've been told you should go to college or some people say go right into the industry. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I just know that I want to sing and write and do music to the best of my ability. And I know people will be there to support me like my family and my friends. Oh, I love that. Okay, so if your life is a movie, right? Mm -hmm. What would be the title of the movie? Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Oh, no. Um, I don't know. She's All That is already a movie. Like, oh, I like that title. Yeah, but it's already taken. I don't know. <laughs> Who okay. knows? I'm not very creative with titles. Um, actually, I I usually write songs and I cannot figure out a name for them most of the time. I'm like, okay, nothing, nothing's working. So this is a very difficult names? question. Hmm. Who comes up with the names to your songs then? Do you like ask other people who would? I know? actually ask people. <laughs> the song, they're like, uh, what What are you gonna name it? I'm like, I don't know. What do you think? <laughs> what should I name it? Honestly. <laughs> The Secret Life of Trinity. People are actually commenting names. Ooh, so what? Oh, what? Oh, my God. She's all that, too. <laughs> I like she's all that. Who cares if it's taken? Whatever. We'll make another one. Okay. What would you consider, like, your biggest pet peeve? Oh, uh, in what specifically? Music or just Life. anything? In uh, Honestly, um, does it have to be, like, I don't know, um... I I tend to run into a lot of uh, singers that, like, 
aren't really sure like if they want to sing or if they want to act or okay. if they want to dance like honestly you can expand your horizons but like if like people who don't know what they're truly passionate about I'm like you got to you got to look you got to focus on what you want to do in life yeah and like i'm then just honestly, floating around yeah i mean of course you can do that but i love people who know exactly what they want to do yeah. and like are aiming for the stars or also big pet peeve is people bringing each other down for like mm -hmm. having a dream and like wanting to do something specific. I love that. I love yeah. how she didn't like actually like get frustrated. Like she's just like, I just don't like it. <laughs> Some people will actually get angry. They're like, Oh my God, I hate it when this happens. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. What would you consider like in life or in music, whichever way you want to take it is your biggest strength? Um, I think, um, I'm always finding, like, different, like, weaknesses in myself that I want to improve, but mm -hmm. I think my biggest strength is not letting myself, like, fall so far that I won't get back up. Okay. Like, there's a lot of times that I've just been hurt by people that I really mm -hmm. trusted, and mm -hmm. I, I've always been able to find people around me who will love me and care for me, and I won't give up on them, so that's something I like about myself. I love it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Flip side. What would you consider your biggest weakness? Ooh, let's oh, getting get deep. This. Getting deep. Ooh, um, I mean, honestly, I don't have the biggest self-esteem. Okay. And I think that's like, I'm still working on that. And I sometimes when someone asks me to sing or someone like, like ask for like I wrote a new song and they want me to perform it. I get really nervous and like, oh, they're gonna hate it. And then I talk for twenty minutes about how much they're gonna hate it. <laughs> you just can't stop talking. I do that too. Honestly, honestly. yeah. When you're, like, insecure about something, and then you just keep talking about it. People are like, just shut up and play the song. You're just like, okay. do it. Like, what's the big deal? <laughs> it's a big deal to me. <laughs> I love that. Well, I love you, and I think you're amazing. Oh, I love you too. Generation. Um. Okay. If you had a superpower, what would it be? Oh my god, do you do you, you don't even know how much I've thought about this question like <laughs> before in class. Honestly. You just think about Trinity like in school, like just going like, hmm, superpowers. Just like, zoning out in chemistry. Like, honestly. But I have two answers for this. Like I can't okay. figure out which one I choose. Like this is something I think about all the time. Okay. The first one, which I think I would choose, is the ability to control time. Like, okay. being able to pause time, like, have a nap or, like, get a snack or, like, <laughs> go, like, see, like, forward in time or go back in time. Honestly, okay. that'd be amazing. Or, like, the ability to, like, change, like, the appearance of things. Like, like you could touch something and, like, like, a bowl of blueberries could turn into, like, a bowl of strawberries. Like, just, like, be able to manipulate, like, certain objects, honestly. Oh. I've thought about this a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. I'm entertained by that. I knew you were excited about the question the second I asked it because you went, <gasps> and I was like, oh, wait, this is going to be good. Okay. So you have two answers. All right. I've never heard the object one. Really? What, like, where did you come up with that? Um, I don't know. I get really bored. <laughs> <laughs> I've got free time. <laughs> <laughs> um... Okay, that's amazing. Okay, what would you consider your biggest fear? I love asking my, people these ooh, questions. My biggest fear. Oh, that's a deep one. I know. Um, oh, I can't go that deep. I would say something <laughs> really like dark. I'm like, nope, we're not doing that. Um, I think my biggest fear is um, I can't like when I think of biggest fear, I think of like really sad things. But just share one. Go for okay. it. Okay. Just, like, the fear that, um, like, I won't be able to, like, be successful in this industry. Like, something bad will happen, and then someone will, like, leave me just because I'm, like, not successful. It's a very Capricorn thing. Like, I'm <laughs> obsessed with signs right now, and I don't know why. Okay. I'm, just, like, I'm pretty, like, that's a trait of a Capricorn, like, honestly. I'm, like, I totally get that, because I'm, like, to a T a Scorpio. Oh, yes. yes. My brother's a Scorpio. I'm a Scorpio. My mom, both of my parents are Sagittarius. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, it's a weird mixture. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> it's a weird mixture. Oh, that's cool. I love that. Okay. Um, so I have some spitfire.
fire question. So just answer. The All right. Your head. If you don't have an answer, you can move on. Favorite Netflix show? Black Mirror. Oh, I've never seen that one. Okay. You need to see it. It's the best. Okay. Favorite song to jam out to? Um, oh, man. Uh, Mr. Brightside by The Killers. Okay. First thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Um, I stay in bed for 10 minutes and then I get up for school. <laughs> do you stay in bed and just like lay around or you check Instagram? Yeah, I just like, I scroll through Instagram and I'm like, ah, I gotta do something. <laughs> Cause I always do that. My mom wakes me up and then I'll just sit in my room and like scroll through my Instagram and then my mom will leave and then she'll come back and she'll be like, can you get up now? I'm like, yeah, I'm good now. I, I, my brain has to wake up. I can't Honestly, get up right yeah, now. Too. Or I'm pretty sure I would like fall over cause my brain needs to wake up. Um, okay. And then favorite movie. Favorite movie? Uh, Black Swan. Okay. Wait, yeah. why were both of the titles your favorite Netflix show? I don't know. I'm going to start with stuff. Black. I don't know. <laughs> Have you seen that movie? I'm not going to get into it. It's such an amazing movie. Natalie Portman's in it. It's so good. I don't know. It was a movie from a few years ago. Anyway. <laughs> okay. So I haven't te been texting you for a long time. Do you know use emojis? I really don't. You know, like, those... Like, very basic emojis before emojis, like emoticons, where you just do, like, a simple, like, the, Yeah. I use those all the time. And, like, <laughs> I never use emojis. I try to sometimes when other people use emojis. I'm like, I feel weird if I don't. But <laughs> No, I use, like, emojis, like, on a daily basis. Because my favorite emoji, like, not necessarily facial expressions, but, like, the purple heart. Or, like, the star. I really like the star one. Oh, yes. So, um, okay, so if you, if your, like, favorite facial expression could be an emoji, what would that be? Um, um, I love that new, like, uh, blushy heart one with all the hearts over the face. That's really cute. Can you, I like, try that. to impersonate it? Like, the facial expression of it? Okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Can you do that while people screenshot? All right. Oh, no. <laughs> Go. Love it. All right, guys, if you got that screenshot, DM it to me, and I'm going to post it on my story and tag Trinity and you. Um, awesome. Okay, this is our last question. Oh, no. I, I know. know. And Thank you like, so much for joining. I love interviews so much. You're so good at interviewing. Thank you. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> I just like talking to people. It's just a conversation, you know? I know. Um, but I'm glad we got, like, super deep with, like, the biggest fears. I am fascinated by your superpowers. Oh, I'm going to go, too. after this live, I'm going to go and think about my superpowers and come up with the Oh, yes. Life. It's going to happen. It's a like rabbit hole you can go down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm going to ask this question, and then whoever yes. answers this question as well in the comments will get a yes. shout out, like the last minute of the live. All right. Okay. So it's a very serious question. Okay. And I need to, like, think really hard about it. Ready? Yes. Bikes or scooters? Oh, no, I, <laughs> <laughs> honestly, I'm a huge, I love biking. I, hey. I bike with my family all the time. Like, it's so much fun for me. I don't know why. Okay. Like, you know, I, I live really close to Santa Monica, and there's this all whole right. bike trail that I go with my family to. I go to the Santa Monica Pier. Oh, and I we love just... the pier. I love the beach. That's what I love about LA. Yeah, it's so. But I like scooters. <laughs> beach now. <laughs> I'm a scooter really person. scooters? I haven't yes. had a scooter in like so long because I'm scary. way too tall for any scooter. <laughs> like, All right, so if you want to like go like back and forth on shouting people out, just answer bikes or scooters. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> my favorite song right now. I gotta scroll to the when they started. Um, let me see. The first one uh, is Sweetie Love Boo. Love Boo. Yes. Yeah. Um. Tori K is a daily moved um, <laughs> scooters. Oh, same as you. I see. I see. <laughs> Jarek said scooters. And um, Isabella said bikes. Hey. Uh, Grant Knock, uh, bikes. Yes. Uh, Rockstar Madman, bikes. Yeah. Yes. Red Lipstick Mary said bikes. Yes. I mean, bikes. They're just, you can do so much with them. And also, I get burns on my feet from, like, you know, when you have to break okay, and you're not I scooter. understand That's... that scooters can hurt when you don't ride them correctly, but bikes just, like, make you sore, and scooters don't. So, oh, you're right, right, you're right. Scooters. <laughs> um, Ota I'm sorry, I don't know how to say your name. Otaku said scooters, PD said scooters, 
um, ad said bikes. LOL scooters are so versatile. Thank you. They she, are. You're right. Oh, you're so <laughs> she's right. like, wait, let me. Check I haven't had a scooter in so long. I think the last time I rode a scooter was like two years ago in New York. Well, you should try it again. There, it's a whole experience. It just brightens your day. I promise you. Honestly, it sounds like fun. <laughs> Pink Lexi said bikes. Um, I'm glad. I'm glad you're on my team. And dirt bike oh my gosh i know some people like say like electric scooter and they get really specific mm -hmm. um, oh like all the scooters that are like all around la right now like the what are they called birds uh, birds. birds that's birds. what they are they're so yeah. Those are evelyn awesome. rode a scooter today oh my gosh hi evelyn <laughs> she was at the event with me she's all one right, of my thank best you friends so much for joining Yes, of course. I mean, this was so much fun. This is honestly, like, if I can ever do this again, please. Yes, please. for sure. At some point, I want to start, like, reconnecting with everyone that I've done interviews with and do them again and tell me their updates on their lives. So specifically, like, when you come out with your more songs and things like that. So thank you so much for joining. Yeah, I love this song. Oh, Everyone thank go you so watch much. this music video on Trinity's YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah. Hey! Oh my god. Bye! 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 Alright guys, if y'all got those screenshots, please DM them to me. I'm gonna tag Trinity and you. Um, happy Sunday guys! I'll see y'all next Sunday!